this is a 3D model of the heart, and uh, the top of it are atria, and that's where electricity swarms like tornadoes, not one but many. This is healthy heart muscle. The green speckled part is a scar. So you can easily imagine that electricity gets trapped in between the scar and starts meandering, and that's what atrial fibrillation is. And uh, it makes it impossible, it's such a disorganized and rapid rhythm that the top of the heart really cannot contract anymore. So it used to be a pump, it becomes effectively a lake. And that lake has a lagoon right here. In the lagoon, the blood stops moving. What happens to the blood that is not moving? It is clotting. Everybody has that lagoon. It's called left atrial appendage. And you see, it's friendly on the model. Look how com complex and large it can be here. Right? You see, it looks like a chicken wing. The hybrid approach to long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation management has two stages. The first stage is performed by a cardiothoracic surgeon, minimally invasively, and on top of the heart. The second stage is performed through the venous axis, and it is electrophysiological procedure. It's not a surgery, and it's done from the inside of the heart. We actually both do the same thing, just on two sides of the heart muscle, one on top of it, one from the inside. And the goal is to form linear, non-permeable lines that do not allow electricity to proceed and continuously activate the rest of the heart muscle. Every patient really needs and deserves the information about everything that's available for treatment of this chronic progressive inflammatory dangerous disease. So every patient can make a choice regarding therapy that best fits his needs.